All right, guys, it's time to learn about absolute values because you're going to be using them a lot in computer programming. And the reason for that is because they are awesome whenever you're doing stuff like calculating dates or maybe um, the weight of something or the distance because you're going to allow the user to enter two values, such as maybe they're calculating their age. Well, what if they put the year that they were born first, like 1986, and they sub try to subtract the current year from it like 2014 well if they did that then it's gonna give you a negative number because you're subtracting a bigger number from a smaller one and of course their age wouldn't be negative 28 so you need to convert that to a positive number so your program doesn't crash so again it's good for distances and weights and ages so I'll show you guys how to build a simple program like that right now so we'll go ahead and put into year one and int year two, which is pretty much going to be the two years that they enter to calculate the age of something, and we'll store the final age right there. Now for printf, let's just go ahead and give them a nice little prompt on the screen. Be like, enter a year, no, <laughs> enter a tier. You have to be crying to use this program. All right, enter a year, new line, and we'll just scan f. And for this, of course, we're scanning percent D since we love working with integers and ampersand year, ampersand tier, year one. All right, so now whatever value they entered, hopefully it was an integer, we store it in year one. Of course, we need to do this again. Enter another year and store that in year two. So now we got two numbers, integers. So the first thing we need to do is make an equation to calculate the age. So age equals year one minus year two. Now this actually doesn't matter since we're gonna be using absolute value. You can put year two minus two one, you know, it won't make a difference. Cool little thing about this. So what I want to do after this is actually print out the value that we came up with first. The value or the original value that we calculated without using absolute value. So print out percent D, new line, and age. Now after this, what we're going to do is we're going to figure that this number that we came up with can either be the correct one if they entered um, you know one of the numbers first or the wrong one it can be negative if they enter the smaller number first so no matter what we want to go ahead and calculate the absolute value using the function a b s so whenever we pass age into here if it's a negative number is going to convert it convert it into the positive number if it's positive it's just going to leave it the same so now when you print that bad boy out again, check it out. Enter your year, 1986. Enter another year, 2014. Okay, so this one, it tried to subtract 2014 from 1986 and it got negative 28. Well, you don't wanna put that in your program or else it's gonna crash everything later on. So the absolute value converts that to 28. And of course, if they entered it correctly, which is 2014, 1986, it calculates 28 and leaves it at 28. So again, whenever you're developing software, you always wanna assume that the user is gonna F something up and you wanna make your program as user proof as possible. So using absolute value is a great way to do that. Sometimes it's necessary whenever you're using um, distances, like if I was to put two distances in there, then either way, would be the correct way for the user so you'd still need to use absolute value same thing with weights and uh, so on and so forth so um for now that's probably good for this tutorial thank you guys for watching actually might as well show you guys some other small ones real quick and uh let's see what i can do go ahead and do this so we'll just use one print statement and we'll print out a couple floats and i don't need to make a whole tutorial for these um, the first one is this function, POW. Now what this means is whenever you run this, you have to punch your computer as hard as you can until your uh, fist goes POW.
I'm just kidding. It actually stands for power, and you need to enter two values for this. The first one is the base, and the second one is the exponent. What this is pretty much saying is I want to see 5 to the third power. So if you guys don't know what this is, it should be 125. So pretty much 5 times 5 is 25 times 5 is 125. So that's what that does. Again, I don't need a whole tutorial explaining that. And the only other one I wanted to mention real quick is SQRT. This stands for squirt and you have to squirt water on your computer. Just kidding again. So this actually stands for square root and whatever number you pass in, like 164, it prints the square root of that number. So before I run this, can you uh, guess what it is? Square root 164, probably uh, on a 12.6 uh, something. Ah, 12.8, I was close. But basically the square root of 164 is 12.8. Maybe you guys guess closer than me. So those are a few math functions. Again, out of all of those, you're probably going to be using absolute value the most. But now you have the power function and the square root on hand. So, well, for now, thank you guys for watching, and I'll, I'll see you later.